In this video, we are going to solve the issue that we had in Wish when we tried to process 25,000 credit cards, the UI froze for a moment. If you remember, when we click on the start button, the loading GIF didn't appear immediately, but it did after a few instants. We don't want that because one of the main reasons to use asynchronous programming is to have a responsive UI. So we don't want the UI to froze. So why does this happen? Well, if we go to our process car method, we're going to see the reason. The reason is the following. We have 25,000 cards. So we iterate this block of code 25,000 times. Now, as you know, we only liberate the current thread, which in our case is the UI thread, once we arrive to an await. So if this here takes, let's say, two seconds, then those two seconds, the UI thread is going to be busy constructing all of the HTTP requests. And after two seconds, when we come here and we get to the await, then and only then the UI thread is liberated. So that is why for a brief amount of time, our UI is frozen. So what can we do? Well, we can offload this processing into another thread. And in that way, we will have the UI thread available. So let's do that. In order to have this running in another thread, we're going to use task.run. So let's say task.run, and then we're going to use a delegate here. And whatever we have in this block of code is going to run on another thread. So let me cut this from here, and let me paste it here. And let me await this because task run creates a task, which means that we can await it. So we're saying run this in another thread. And when you're finished, then we're going to go to this line of code, which is going to wait for all of the tasks to finish. And we're not limited to do that here. For example, let's go to the get cars method. And let's pretend for a moment that this method is really, really slow, that there is a lot of processing here. So we want to offload this processing into another thread. So let's do that. We have to say await task run, and we're going to make our code block here. And I will put everything into that block of code. And finally, we will say return because we want to return whatever we have here. Of course, now, since we're using await, we need this method to be async because the only way we can use await is from an async method. And we see that we have an error here and it is because we should be returning task. So let's say task of list of a string and that's it. With this, this method now is asynchronous and this processing that we have here is going to happen on another thread. So we're going to liberate the UI thread so that our UI is responsive. Now let's go up here. And we need to await this. As you can see, we have get cars here, which is of type task of list of a string. In order to get the list of a string out of the task, we have to await. So let's say here, await. And that's it. Now this cards variable is of type list of strings. And now we don't have an error here. Now let's test this. Let's press control F5 to run our application. And let's see if this solves our issue. Let's click on start and you are going to see that immediately after pressing start, we get the loading GIF, which means that we are offloading all of the processing to another thread and we are liberating the UI thread. And in that way, we have a responsive application. When we are using asynchronous programming and we want to offload something into another thread, we should always use task.run.